I'm Reverend Adrienne Booth Johnson, and I am here today to talk to you about going global. I'm president of Infinity Global Empowerment, and I'm blessed and honored today to have with me my partner who will introduce himself. Hi, I'm attorney Joe Johnson, and it's my honor and privilege to share this setting with you at AIB Television to talk about one of our great passions in life, and that's going global. Uh, as you know, we've traveled uh, around the world extensively. We've been to Europe, the UK, uh, France, Switzerland. We've been to the Caribbean. We've been extensively in Africa. We've been to South Africa. We've been to Kenya, Rwanda, Liberia, Sierra Leone, Ghana. And so it's important for us to be able to share some of our uh, wisdom, some tips, some of our best practices for traveling abroad. What we have are some questions that some of our viewers have want to know. So the first question is, I'm planning to take a trip abroad. What's the first thing that I need to do? So the first thing you need to do is to do your homework. That means identify the destination, focus on the area, the region, the country in which you are interested in visiting. Talk to people from those areas that have family members or friends there for possible contacts and also Find people who recently visited there, traveled there, to learn from their experiences. Also, it's very important for you to secure proper documentation to enter the country. You'll need a passport, visa, vaccines, health immunizations, and you can also review the State Department's website for that country for travel advisories for U.S. citizens. One of the things that uh, we encountered, we wanted to travel to uh, a country uh, in Northern Africa and uh, we were set to buy the tickets and we decided to check the State Department uh, website to find out if there were any travel advisors. And there was travel advisors. In fact, it was during a time when there was a lot of anti-American sentiment. And the travel advisory said, Americans should not travel in public, should not go to public places. And so had we not known that, had we not done our research about those uh, State Department advisors, we would have been in the midst of something that could have put us in personal jeopardy and danger. That's true, and that's so very true. And so other things you need to know before going is to contact your credit card companies and the banks to let them know so they won't think it's fraud when you're trying to withdraw money uh, or you're charging items. And also please contact your cell phone provider for they may not provide coverage there. So when that happens, you can purchase a temporary pay phone and, and buy minutes as you go. You mentioned earlier about contacting your bank, and that's crucial. Um, one of the most frustrating things is to be in a foreign country and not have access to your money or your funds because you haven't contacted the bank, or your bank, in, in terms of being proactive in terms of security, may have shut down your card. Let's see what the second question is. When I am traveling to a new and different country, what are some of the things I should consider? Well, the first thing is you need to be culturally sensitive to the people of that country. Become familiar with their laws, their culture, and their tradition, and have an open mind to new and different traditions and experiences. You can leave your American hat at home. And even in country, read and watch local and global news. You need to watch the media, like BBC World News, the CNN, New York Times, and we follow blogs, magazines, LinkedIn. I'd also like to recommend that you ask the hotel concierge to make recommendations for your local transportation needs and a reputable travel agency to arrange tours and not just go with people that you meet because sometimes that can be dangerous. Don't wait until uh, the, the driver has taken you to your des destination and then you get some sticker shock about how much it's gonna cost. Get that information up front so you can make a decision as to whether or not you want to use that mode of travel or travel in some other way. The best surprise is no surprise. And so also we, we think it's very important to obtain information on the currency rate and the fluctuations that impact your dollars before and during your trip. Because um, a lot of times the dollar will change. It will, mm -hmm. it will make a big difference when you're trying to purchase something. And also know that ATMs, they will only give their money. In other words, when we're in Ghana, it gives us CDs out of the ATMs and no American dollars. So I always keep like uh, maybe one or two hundred dollar bills in my wallet just in case when I'm getting ready to go home and I'm leaving, 
in case there are any hidden surprises or any hidden fees or exchanges or anything leaving the country or, or entering our country. I know it's not because I can always use my credit card, but leaving the country. When you travel abroad, you are a guest in other people's country. And it's important that you conform to their customs, not the other way around. Um, there are different religious and ethnic groups who might worship or uh, do things differently than we might. There might be uh, different food preparation manners. Uh, one of the things that initially surprised me about traveling in um, developing countries is that um, people um, don't always have access to public uh, bathroom facilities so that you know there may be some people who might relieve themselves in public and so these are the kinds of things that are just um, a part of what you experience when you travel abroad and so uh, you just have to adjust to that and make sure that you're being sensitive to how other cultures live. Here's another uh, important thing to consider when you travel internationally. Uh, oftentimes, our local health insurance might not be in effect when you travel internationally. So you need to work with your health care provider and get international travel medical insurance. In the event of some illness or catastrophic illness, if uh, you require emergency medical treatment, you may have to be evacuated from uh, your location or country, so you need to make sure that you have a policy, a, a emergency medical global policy in effect when you travel abroad in the event of some catastrophic injury. Share the travel itinerary also for your family to make sure somebody always knows where you are at all times or where you were last staying in the last hotel. And our next question is, is talking about and traveling. When you, there are a group of performers and people are outside and doing different things, how do you keep yourself safe? What do you do to, to stay safe within a crowd? Well, I'm always very cognizant of, of my surroundings. And um, when we travel, if I have documents and cash, I make sure I have a, a body bag that has that's in front of me at all times. Mm -hmm. So I can um, be aware of it. But I'm also in crowds very aware of uh, groups that are performing, you know, because sometimes those are distractions. Sometimes there are people who are in crowds, pickpockets who, uh, you know, try to profit off of, of, of Americans or tourists. And so I'm very aware of my surroundings and the people who are with us. So I think having that body bag that um, has your documents in front of you is a very good way of making sure you're, you stay safe. So let's see what the next question is. The next question says, how do you keep your documents safe um, and using the hotel safe or do you prefer the others? I leave my, um, uh, my travel documents, like my passport. I don't take it out with me just in case something happens. Um, I leave that in a hotel, in a hotel safe, in mm -hmm. safe in my room, not downstairs at the concierge or at the desk, but in our hotel room. It depends on where you're traveling as well. That's if you're right. in Europe, um, where you might be on trains going cross country, I remember we were in, um, uh, Spain. I think, yeah, we were in Spain and, and traveling cross country. Uh, I recall we were in Europe and we uh, went to Switzerland. Yes. And, and we needed our, our documents when we mm -hmm. uh, went inter country. So sometimes it's a necessity to carry them. But even when you do, you just want to make sure you um, carry them in a, in a safe way that are protected. That's true. And people also ask us about luggage. Like, what do we carry luggage now? Um, there's a weight limit when you're going international. And our final question for that our viewers have asked is, what advice do you have for women traveling alone? So for women traveling alone, and I travel to Africa a lot by myself, I stay in the better hotels. I eat at the better restaurants in that hotel or nearby. And if you're having a drink, uh, a cocktail or something, you wanna walk away and you walk away from your glass to go to the bathroom or whatever, Start a new drink in case someone has slipped something in your glass. Also, make sure you dress appropriately. Do not wear expensive jewelry. And, and watch what the women in that town, village, or city are wearing and dress so that you do not stand out because it could send the wrong message. So again, and don't wear, I have my own jewelry that I wear when I go out of the country. So I just wear a little wedding band and I wear a simple watch for women. Um, it's very important for you not to carry a purse and definitely don't have one swinging. Uh, but a lot of times people do cross body 
uh, purses mm -hmm. uh, or those little purses that go around your waist. So I always make sure I, I'd leave the hotel at 10 in the morning and I'd be back before dark. Um, if I don't feel comfortable getting in an elevator with people, I don't get in it. Um, and so you want to make sure you stay away from crowded elevators or whatever. One of the things that also helps me, I tip very well in the hotel. And therefore, when I go in, I start with the person that takes my bags in, even the person that registers me in. When they bring my bags to the hotel, I tip very well. And therefore, whenever I need anything, I always get it. Uh, so remember that, that God is always there with you and you will really have a great time if you follow the rules that we've, we've laid out for you today. We go as tourists, but for us, it's more important to connect with people. Uh, that's a big part of why we travel. We want to understand cultures. We want to understand people. And we want to understand the nuances of their lives.